Welcome back to the channel, I'm Corey Congilio, and I keep getting asked about how to combine major and minor pentatonics. I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit more about how I like to do it and why I chose this sort of Jimmy Page Zeppelin type track to solo over here. <laughs> If you're a subscriber to the channel, you probably saw the lesson I did on the Keith Richards inspired lick that covers the same kind of ground. But hey, I keep getting asked about major and minor pentatonic scales, and when you're playing rock and roll, there's no better vehicle for your soloing. <laughs> So I'm gonna teach you the lick I did at the top of the video, and I'll even include the tab if you shoot me an email. Heck, I'll even include the backing track. This lick is actually included in a course I did called Solo Factory Jam Craft. So the idea here was to take a bunch of these kinds of licks and string them together to make solos. You'll be able to check that out in the links below. <laughs> And if you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? Hit that button below, ring the bell so you know when I put out a new video. Lots of stuff coming. <laughs> And if you're the subscribing kind and you like all access content, stuff you're not gonna get on YouTube, check out my True Fire channel below and for a small fee you can have access to a lot more lessons. <laughs> Let's jump into the lesson and talk about how we're gonna combine major and minor scales to play over a great rock track like this, just like our heroes, Keith, Jimmy, Eric Clapton, you name it, they've all done it. All right, let's do it. Okay, so before we jump into the lick, I really wanna talk about the concept of combining major and minor pentatonic scales. First of all, it's gonna be really important that you know all five patterns for major and minor. So what you need to know is that for each major key, there is a relative minor. I call it like the Jekyll and Hyde sort of thing, or the evil twin. So in the key of C, that's our major happy example, right? That's our tonality there. The relative minor for C is A minor. And that's six degrees up from a C major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, what you can really think about is that what goes for C major goes for A minor, hand in hand, right? And I'll probably skip over some theoretical things in this, so if you wanna beat me up in the comments, go ahead, I'm used to it, okay? So the way I like to teach is to really just give you the answers and let you sort of have fun with it and, and play and wrap your hands around the guitar and make the sound you wanna hear, and then go back and really try to understand the theory from there because I see too many people get into a rut and get frustrated and not have fun with the instrument. That's not what we wanna do. Let's go back to our E minor pentatonic. And I'm gonna assume you know all of those in all five patterns, very important. The quick and easy way to find an E major pentatonic is to just take that scale. You see how your pinky is covering up that note there? That's the next note in the minor scale. I'll move my fingers on the camera down below a little bit for you. So you'd have E and G. Again, I'm gonna skip over a bunch of theoretical stuff that you can slam me for in the comments, okay? This is just a quick and easy way to get you there. Take that scale pattern and move it so that your E is now on the pinky. Now you're playing C sharp minor and E major. Because remember I said for every major there's a relative minor. And it just so happens that the key of E major has C sharp 
as its minor. So check this out. There's your major pentatonic in the key of E or C sharp minor. Play that again. You can hear how the tonality just really takes you there. That's a good thing to practice is to really just kind of take it root by root. Or start here on the E. So fast forward, now you have all five patterns figured out for major and minor, right? Now you want to start to see the overlap a little bit. So here is E major pentatonic. minor pentatonic. We're going to move a hand up. Same fingering. And that's going to happen with all five scales. For instance, here's major pattern, what I would call number five. Don't let that confuse you. Just learn all the patterns and understand their, their root notes. And then you'd have this minor pattern here, which would be like minor pattern five. Then you'd have this major pattern, and then you'd have this minor pattern. So we're going to start to see that we can really start to combine some things. track and you're going to hear how both of these scales really work, but you have to be judicious about how you do it. I'm just going to let the track play and walk the scales over it and maybe play a lick or two. Okay, let's check it out. Major. <laughs> So then what you really want to try to do is maybe find some fun ways to connect them. So maybe I'll go from like pattern one major to minor pattern one. So let's hear that over the track. So at the very end there, what I did was I played minor pentatonic idea into the major. So really at the end of the day, you just want to see them all overlapping each other and be able to kind of really uh, sort of dance between them all, if you will. And a lot of the licks that you know and the bends and the slides and hammer-ons and pull-offs, they're all going to work too. You just have to find sort of your landing spot. So let me just kind of dance around that track a little bit just to show you some ideas and, and hopefully you'll start to see the idea and I'll talk through it a little bit as well. Here we go. Major. Minor. Minor. Major. Minor. Combine.
so you can use any sort of ID you want. I mean, you can go about this however you like, but I feel like actually learning some licks is a fun way to, uh, to sort of employ uh, both scales. You'll see what I mean. Let's jump into the lick. Okay, let's talk about the Jimmy Page-esque lick. We're gonna start with a major pentatonic idea here. We're gonna play which looks like your C-sharp minor pentatonic. Because remember, it's exactly the same as E major. I just try to see those all the time. It's really important that you get there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bend on the 11th fret. And then you're gonna add the B note on the uh, second string 12th fret. And then what you're gonna do is release the bend. And when you release the bend, you're gonna do a pull off. And you just kind of finish it off inside of that scale. Bend up, whole step bend, make your bend strong. I like to use my thumb, keep the other fingers behind it. Try to get the pitch of the note a whole step up. Watch my right hand picking too. Then what I do is I'll go to E minor pentatonic number four. And I'll do a lick there. So I'll bend on the second string, whole step bend. Get that pitch. And same kind of concept, you're gonna bend up a whole step. But then your pinky's gotta grab that first string on the 10th fret. Now when I was a beginning player, I remember that pinky just would not cooperate. So it's gonna take a while because you have to hold that. And you release, same way that you did on the third string here release, back to the 10th fret, 9th fret, uh, it's an E there on the 7th. All right, let's try it with the track, here we go. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this lesson. The major and minor pentatonics are really what I use most often. I combine them a lot and I use some chromatic licks every once in a while to connect them. There'll be more on that later. You're probably a fan of guitar and guitar playing, which is why you're watching this channel. Or maybe you're searching out guys with mustaches that look like Tony Stark or Jack Sparrow. So in your YouTube journey, you should stop and see my friends over at Couch Riffs. My buddy Mike has a great show there where we sit down and we play a cover tune note for note. I played the tune Sultan's a Swing, had a blast, I even sang it. So go check it out, I'll put the link below. In addition to subscribing to the channel, you can check out all of my instructional guitar courses on my website. The link is below and so is a promo code if you wanna buy a course through the site. Well, I hope you had fun with me in this lesson. I love this stuff and I teach it all the time. Stay tuned, please subscribe because I'll see you on another one.